tell me what FDR said in response to the problems of the Great Depression. You're gonna love our pizza. <laughs> think you're pretty funny, do you, Heck? You're gonna love our pizza. No, I didn't get to finish. You know what else you're gonna love? You're gonna love our principal's office. Hey, I hear one of my favorite students is having some trouble in the disciplinary department. Hey, Dr. Fulton. Hey, Brick. Let's talk. Uh, so, uh, why did Mrs. Roberts send you down here? You're gonna love our pizza. Well, I said you're gonna love our pizza, and she got mad, but when I... I'm gonna stop you right there for just a second. Did you hear yourself when you say, you're gonna love our pizza? You're gonna love our pizza. Did I just do it? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, you know, Brick, you're new to high school, and a lot of the teachers might not be hip yet to your, you know, your quirks and your eccentricities. You know, and uh, that's no problemo. You know, I'm, I'm happy to give them the 411, but it's just, you know, but in the meantime, yeah, uh, how are things going in your world? You're gonna love our pizza. Mm -hmm. mm, fine. Things are going well with Cindy. Sue and Axel are back at college. Mom complains about work. She and Axel aren't speaking to each other. Oh, and I recently found To Kill a Mockingbird in a hardcover. You know, I'm gonna back you up just a little, sport. Uh, the thing you just said about your mom and, and your brother, that sounds like kind of a big thing. No, not really. Sometimes I hear her crying through the walls. Yeah, I think what's happening is that this situation at home is manifesting itself in this repetitive phrase. You're gonna love our pizza. What repetitive phrase? You know, Brick, all stress has certain trigger points. I know for me, it was finding out that Shelly was having a baby with her butt-faced ponytail husband. Uh, but the good news is we, we all find ways to cope and move on. For example, I'm, I'm seeing this great new gal. Her name is Barbara, but I call her Shelly. She's 68 years old, but she's very youthful. Anywho, I think you need to find a way to relieve some stress. You know, blow off some steam, you know, have some fun. Hmm. That's why I always say yes to mall walking with Barbara Shelley. She sets quite a brisk pace. Hmm. <laughs> you know, she's younger than Mick Jagger. Huh? 